Here at the Center for Metal Arts, we're interested primarily in education. We want to offer beginners and advanced metalsmiths and blacksmiths an opportunity to either start from the ground up or come in here with experience and really develop a certain technique or style or come in and, and work personally with, with Laurie or myself um, in, a, in an open studio atmosphere. We do offer classes for the very beginner who's never touched a piece of metal. Small metals and blacksmithing are very complementary. When you integrate the two together, it can really bring your work to a much more professional level. Combining non-ferrous material with forged iron is really attractive to us. And to, to have all of the equipment and tools necessary to forge iron. Yeah, they say some of the best blacksmiths started out as jewelry makers. It's easy to make blacksmithing a really clunky, heavy-handed thing. So if you have that finesse and attention to detail, it really takes it to the next level. As a beginner, you don't realize that it's a tool that's causing the problem, you know? And you're starting out and you don't know how a tool is supposed to feel and how it's supposed to work exactly. And then when you use the right tool, it helps so much and you realize, I can do this and it's not as hard as I thought it was. I'm not fumbling around and the piece isn't falling on the ground. I'm very passionate about tool making and even before I came here, I've made all my own tools for forging and it's satisfying to make the tool and then put it to use to make your sculptural work. So it's, it's important for me to make tools for the shop where every student has the right set of tongs Every student has an anvil that has the right hardy tools. They've got a hammer that's appropriate weight for them, and there's matching sets for every student. That way no student is struggling and one student's doing really well. You're all given an equal opportunity with tools that I've made personally that I know work really well. You really connect with the work when you've actually made the tools to make the work. And you can customize your tools in so many different ways and make them to be exactly what you want. By using the tools, the tools inevitably get better because you're like, okay, I like this aspect of this tool, but I wish the handle was a little shorter or you know, I wish the face of the hammer was rounded out a little more. So you can just keep evolving them and making them better and more specialized and we really like that.